Hello everyone. For today, we are going to discuss determining the maturity value of compound interest. We are going to discuss the maturity value of compound interest. Recently, we discussed how to get the value of principal amount and how to get the interest of the compound interest. For today, we are going to determine the maturity value of compound interest. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss maturity value of compound interest. Number two, determine the formula to be used in solving the maturity value of compound interest. And number three, solve the value of maturity value of compound interest. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. So these are the keywords to be used, just like what we had with our previous video. The principal amount, the amount of money being borrowed, then nominal interest rate is 4J, then M is equal to number of conversion per year, then T is for the time or term of the loan or investment. We have the periodic interest rate, then capital I is for the amount of interest paid or received, then F is the maturity value or the face value. So these are the compounding frequencies and periods. Annual is number, number of compoundings or no, conversion per year is one. Semi-annually is two. Quarterly is four. Bi-monthly is six. And monthly is 12. Let's now try to solve this problem. What will be the maturity value of 12,000 pesos invested for four years at 15% compounded quarterly? So these are the formulas to be used. F is equal to the principal amount multiplied by one plus P is equal, to, excuse me, F is equal to P multiplied by the quantity of one plus I raised to N. And in order for us to get the value for I, that is J over M, nominal interest rate divided by the number of compoundings per year. Then N is equal to the time multiplied by the number of compounding compoundings per year, okay? So let's now try to solve the given problem by the means of identifying the given and the formula to be used. So here's the given. What will be the maturity value of 12,000 pesos invested for four years at 15% compounded quarterly? The principal amount is 12,000 pesos. Number of compoundings per year is four. Number of years or T is equal to four years. In order for us to get the value of n that is equal to time multiplied by the number of compoundings per year, that is four. Four times four, that is 16. That is j is 15% or 0 0.15 in decimal point. Divide 15 by 100 to get the decimal point value of 15%. And in order for us to get the value for i, we are going to divide the j by m, 0 0.15 divided by four, that is 0 0.0375. Determine the formula to be used. And here's the formula to be used. Final value or maturity value is equal to P multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N. So we are now going to substitute the values or the given on the formula. And it goes like this. Maturity value is equal to the principal amount, which is 12,000 pesos multiply by the quantity of 1 plus i, that is 0 0.0375, then raise to n, that is 16. The first step, add 1 plus 0 0.0375. We are going to add. The answer is 1.0375. Again, add 1.0375. 1, 1 plus 0 0.0375 is 1.0375. After that, we are going to raise 1.0375 by 16. What is the value of 1.0375 raised to 16? And the answer is 1.80222 1.80222 raised to 16 is 1.80222 After that, we multiply 12,000 by 1.0222 And the final answer is, excuse me, 21,626.73.
this is the final value 21,626.73 pesos. I hope you were able to follow our simple processes. Let's have another example. What is the maturity value of 3,000 pesos invested at 9.5% compounded semi annually for 3.5 years? So here are the formulas to be used. Final value is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus i raised to n, where i is equal to j over m or the nominal interest rate divided by the compounding number of compounding per year. Then n is equal to time multiplied by m or the number of compoundings per year. Let's now try to solve the given problem by the means of determining the given and the formula to be used. So what are the given on this problem? We have 3,000, that is the principal amount. Then number of compoundings per year is two because semi-annually, that is two. Time is 3.5 years. In order for us to get the value for N, we are going to multiply T by M. 3.5 years multiplied by two, that is seven. Then 9.5% is J. I'm sorry, this one, this one should be 9.5%. Let's change this one. 9.5, I'm sorry for this one. Again. Okay, the value for J is 9.5% or 0 0.095. Then in order for us to get the value for I, that is dividing 0 0.095 by 2, and that is 0 0.0475. Then let's determine the formula to be used. It goes like this. F is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N. Since we have the given, let's now solve the problem. These are the given, and we are going to substitute the given on the formula. It goes like this. P is 3,000 pesos, I is 0 0.0475, N is 7. First step, add this one, 1 plus 0 0.0475, 1 plus 0 0.0475, the answer is 1.0475, 1 plus 0 0.0475 is 1.0475. Then we are going to get the value of 1.0475 raised to 7. 1.0475 raised to 7. The answer is 1.383815598. 1.0475 raised to 7 is 1.383815598. Then multiply it by 3,000. The final value is 4,151.45. That is 3,000 pesos multiplied by 1.3838155598. And the final value is 4,151.45. Okay, always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching. See you on our next topic. Bye.